hello guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Mark King from Ivy Shop Pro today I'm going to show you how to add the turntable slowdown audio effect in Premiere Pro and Audition so over here on my timeline I've got a simple clip of a turntable so to apply this effect the first thing you need to do let me unmute this the first thing you need to do is to select the portions where you want to apply the slowdown audio effect to. So I'm going to select my cut razor tool over here and place the first cut over here and move a little bit forward and place the second cut over here. Go back to my selection tool over here and next thing I'm going to do is to drag out this other portion to create room for the slow effect to take place over here. Now I'm going to select this portion where I want to apply the effect to, right click it and select edit clip in Adobe Audition and this will automatically open in Adobe Audition. So what you want to do is to double click on the audio clip over here and move over to your effects and under effects you want to move over to time and pitch. Next you select your pitch bender process over here. Now you want to select turntable losing power. This might not be what you have. You might be on default. So you select your turntable losing power over here and you apply. And automatically it's going to apply that effect. You can now hit play to hear the effect. All right, guys, so that's it. So the next thing you want to do is to come over to your file over here and save this effect and it automatically save in Premiere Pro. So you move back to Premiere Pro and in Premiere Pro you will drag the duration of this clip audio over here and the new duration will be set and you drag this other extended portion back and if you go over to the beginning and hit play you can hear what it sounds like here from this portion over here. So that's it guys on how to add the turntable slowdown audio effect in Premiere Pro and Audition. You can actually set the duration to be how low or how fast you want it to be. Thank you guys for watching this video to the end. If you found this tutorial very useful, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to drop your feedbacks in the comment section. Thank you and see you guys in my next video.